Hi partners. So today is the last day on the Proactive Parenting by the Word series that is focused on building the right foundations. And as we wrap up today, I'm going to be reading from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 from verse 6 to verse 9. And I'm going to read the NIV. And it says, These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. So this is talking about the word of God, his commands. And for me, you know, most times we, a lot of Christians, yes, we read the Bible in our homes. We have our morning devotions, but we are being taught here that that is not where it ends. It's not just about doing it in the morning or last thing at night. But the word of God is the foundation of what we do with our children every day. We can't separate our faith from the life we live. We can't separate our faith from raising our children. That's why proactive parenting by the word is key. Because God is saying that we should talk about the word all through the day as we sit at home, as we walk along the road, when we lie down, when we get up. So how can you apply this? These are the things that we're looking at in the course of the coming weeks. But primarily, when you're giving your child an instruction or an admonition, you're trying to teach them something. Take reference from the word of God. In crafting your, crafting your family values, take reference from the word of God. The word of God is complete. All you need to do is to pay the price to settle down and search out what God is saying about every matter. And I'm telling you, the word of God is powerful. The word of God washes. The word of God leads us in the way that we go. The word of God is loaded. It's the sword of the spirit. It's what that your children will use to overcome temptation. That is what our Lord and our Savior used when the devil came at him. So how much more us? So this is an admonition. Find a way. It is possible. Now, some Christians will just say, yes, okay, fine. Yeah, leave God out of this matter when I want to deal with this. No, that's not it. What God is saying is that at every point in time, the word of God is our anchor. We live by it. That's the constitution that guides the life of every believer. And I pray that the Lord will help us indeed to always understand that even though we are in this world, we are not of this world. And because we are not of this world, we have to live according to the constitution that guides the world that we are in, we are, we are from, which is heaven. And the Lord will surely help us in the name of Jesus. So as you go into the week, tie the word around your doorsteps. Have it in your heart. Talk about it in the day. Talk about it while you're sitting. Talk about it while you're going out. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. God bless you.